Hallelujah. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is exalted. Our God is exalted on high. We will Hallelujah. glorify his name. We will magnify his name. Hallelujah. Just lift up those voices to the Lord this morning. Give him thanks for his goodness, for his mercies, for his kindness. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. There is none like you, none before you, none beside you. You are the exalted one. In you we are set free. Thank you for life. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. You are the risen King. Oh, hey. 
Celebrate Jesus. We love to call your name, Lord. No name above the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, break up your hands like this unto the Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. At the mention of his name, every knee bows. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands and celebrate our Lord. Come on, shout unto the Lord.
We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We glorify you, Lord. Our response to you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We sing unto your name. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have rescued my life. My life, and I'm never going back. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life, and I'm never going back. Come on, let's sing it. You have rescued my life, Lord. continually drawn every day at 10 days of divine encounter where pastor matthew will be live at kicc the land of wonders and kicc prayer city come and encounter divine favor direction healing financial breakthrough and more and the dates are from now until friday the 30th of december except sunday the 25th and monday the 26th of december and the service times at KICC, the Land of Wonders, are from Monday to Friday at 6.30 p.m. and at KICC Prayer City on Sundays at 6 p.m. This Christmas, it's time for the ultimate upgrade. Get the KICC app and enjoy your holiday festivity with KICC On Demand. Whip out your iPad and watch your favourite KICC TV shows on demand. Got your mobile phone whilst on the run? Great! You can listen to KICC TV radio and get inspiration. But whilst you're cooking your Christmas dinner or out, you can catch KICC TV live with a single touch. On your laptop in the comfort of your own home, you can catch up on yesterday's shows, create your playlist and much more from the KICC TV app. Register now. It's easy, quick and accessible. KICC TV app on demand. 
available on the App Store and Google Play Store. Also available on Roku, Apple TV and Amazon Fire Stick. King's Kids takes place every Sunday at 11am and the venue is Prayer Palace Grand Hall at KICC Prayer City. Registration is required via Eventbrite. The New Tomorrow TNT service takes place every Sunday at 11am and the venue is Joseph Academy at KICC Prayer City. Now registration is required via Eventbrite and for more information and previous services follow TNT on Instagram. Stand on the edge of 2022 and prophetically speak into 2023 at the Global Watch Night Service. Come ready to pray, praise, and thank God for what He has done and what He will do with Pastor Matthew Shimolowo and worship with Mercy Chinwo. At the KICC Choir. We believe 2023 is our year of evident progress. Cross over into the new year at the Global Watch Night service from 9.30 p.m. Start 2023 with CCC, Celebration, Consecration, and Communion. Experience resounding thanksgiving and victorious praise with Psalmist Lalu Benjo, Jill Praise, Joyce Omondi, Corin Hawthorne, and the KICC Winning Women Choir. Be part of this anointed service on Sunday, the 1st of January at 12 noon. Don't miss the Global Watch Night service from 9.30 p.m. And on New Year's Day, CCC from 12 noon. For details of these two events, visit KICC.org.uk. Wedding bells. Let's congratulate Shadu Cordu Roberts and Anthony Harvey, who will be getting married on the 29th of December in Gambia. Let's keep them in our prayers. Today, after the main offering is taken, there'll be a separate appreciation offering for our senior pastor and global president, Pastor Matthew. Now, this is a perfect opportunity for members to appreciate the man of God just as we're encouraged to do so in 1 Timothy 5.17. Please note that the church office will be closed on the following dates, Monday the 26th, Tuesday the 27th, and Wednesday the 28th of December. The church office will reopen on the 29th of December from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Friday the 30th of December from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The church office will then be closed on Bank Holiday Monday the 2nd and Tuesday the 3rd of January 2023. The office returns to normal operating hours of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. from Wednesday the 4th of January 2023. And that concludes today's News in Brief. And on behalf of the News in Brief presenters and the media team behind the scenes, we wish you all a Merry Merry Christmas. Urgency. It's always Christmas and everyone knows that this is about receiving gifts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas crisis. <laughs> I'm taking you seriously, my child. But you know, Christmas is more than gifts. More than gifts? But what's better than receiving gifts? So, Grandad, what's the best gift you've ever received? Wow. Very good question. I've had a lot of good gifts in my lifetime. And that's a long hey, watch time. <laughs> watch long it. time. I'm not that old. I'm not that old. I've had lots of great gifts, but none compares to one perfect gift. And what's that? Well, let me read you a story about the perfect gift given to all mankind. Come on, everybody. Granddad's a route three. That's a story. Come, my children. Son and 
Joseph, a Jewish carpenter. One day, God sent the angel Gabriel to Mary, who told her that she will one day conceive a son by the power of the Holy Spirit. Wait, so does that mean that Joseph was Jesus' stepdad? I see where you're going there. <laughs> That's a good point. At that time, a census was ordered by the Roman emperor and all the people went to register in the cities where their ancestors had lived. Joseph traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem to be counted in the census together with Mary. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to have her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there wasn't any room for them in the inn. Wait, but Grandad, how could that make sense? How could he, the son of our most glorious God, be born in a manger and wrapped in rags? Well, my child, let's see how the story continues. The shepherds were in the fields near Bethlehem. They were taking turns watching their flock during the night. An angel of the Lord suddenly appeared to them. The glory of the Lord filled the area with light and they were terrified. The angel said to them, Oh, oh, I know this bit. The angel must have sounded something like this. Don't be afraid, for I have good news for you. A message that will fill everyone with joy. Today your saviour, Christ the Lord, was born in David's city. This is how you will recognise him. You'll find an infant wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Wow, that's a great angel. Well done. Very good. Suddenly, a large army of angels appeared. They were praising God by saying, So come on, everybody. Let's rise up and join in.
So the shepherds went to Bethlehem to see what God had said to them. bring any gifts for baby Jesus? Well, the Bible didn't actually tell us that they brought physical gifts, but the great gifts that they brought was to tell everyone they met about the Savior they had met. Uh, okay. I'm not really sure how I would react. How did they actually react when they saw baby Jesus? Well, let's find out. The shepherds told everyone they met about this child and who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. As the shepherds returned to their flock, they glorified God and praised God for everything they had seen and heard. Everything happened the way the angel had told them. Mary treasured all these things in her heart and always thought about them.
how could Mary not know she was carrying the glorious, magnificent, marvelous, incredible, all powerful, wait, 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 all wait, 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 wait. Just calm down a sec. Just take a breather. Take a breather. Okay, cool. Though I agree with you, I would like to know what Grandad has to say about it next. So, Grandad, can you please tell us what actually happens next? Absolutely, my son. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem. They asked, where is the one who was born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his star rising and have come to worship him. When King Herod and all Jerusalem heard about this, they became disturbed. Why were they disturbed? Because Herod wanted Jesus to be killed. Ooh. Uh, wait, this is crazy. This is turning out to be a horror. Quite so. The wise men continued to follow the star they had seen rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they entered the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. So they bowed and worshipped him. Now children, what gifts do the wise men bring for Jesus? Hmm. Gold. Gold. Ma. Oh, oh, and what's the name again? Frank has no sense. Hey, no nice man! <laughs> Sorry, Frank. So yes, that's right. They opened their treasure chest and brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to baby Jesus. Please, yes, please do. Okay. Here we go. Child. <sighs> Do you need help there, Grandad? <sighs> you need help? Thank you, thank you. Oh. And that, my children, is the story all about the perfect gift. Grandad, I think I get it. Is Jesus the perfect gift? Yes, my dear boy. What you can give is simple. The perfect gift is sharing the hope we have received in Christ with everyone. You see, we celebrate Christmas each year remembering Jesus Christ, the perfect one. God's gift to all mankind, the savior of the world. So I urge you all to share this perfect gift. 
He is the light to our darkened world, the hope to wear its souls, and the joy to the world.
excited it's offering time come on put your hands for the king of king and for lord of lord this is the season when we give to our loved ones and we are always very intentional about our giving so this morning i want you to be intentional about your giving to the king of king and to the lord of lord how many of you agree with me that it, it is it is honorable to give to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. How many of you believe? Come on, put your hand together again for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want you to begin to prepare your offering this morning. There are various ways by which you can give. You will see on the screen. And if you need an envelope, please signify. But before we give our offering this morning, we will be making a declaration and before we make the declaration, I just want to encourage you. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 9 to 10, Honor the Lord with thy substance, 
and with the first fruits of all thy increase, so shall thy barn be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. So as we give this morning, as we give our offering, as we give our tithe, which is the tenth of your, of your income, your tithe will open the window of, us, of heavens for you, and your offering as, that you freely give we open up the treasure of God's blessing into your life. God himself declared in Genesis 8.22, he said, While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. So you see, when you sow your seed, harvest it will not cease in your life in Jesus' name. So this morning, as we give, we are going to make declaration on our offering. So if you have already prepared your offering, I want you to stand on your feet and just lift up your offering to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same meal that you meet shall with her, it shall be measured to you again. So this is a special time that we demonstrate through our giving that we love God. So I stand on the shoulder of the angel of this house, Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo, and I make the following declaration. And please repeat after me. As we give our offering today, we are believing you for jobs, better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, settlements, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, bills paid off, Debts demolished, royalties received, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this great opportunity to sow our seed this morning. Lord, let the windows of heaven be open unto every title in this place. And Father, Lord, for every giver, let them receive a commensurate offering, a commensurate blessing, in the name of Jesus. Let harvest meet harvest in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We exalt your holy name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, give, put your hand together for the King of kings and the Lord of lords as we give. And the usher and the uh, choir also minister. Yeah. You give me that mercy I never deserve. 
It's about the Savior. Amen. And it's not just about gifts. It's about the one whom they brought gifts to. And his gifts had meanings. I know some of you may have woken up this morning and the gift you saw wasn't quite what you expected. Uh, some of you, you saw maybe some kid in the house. Saw something around. You thought it was basketball. Only for it to be the globe of the world. But, uh, <laughs> but let your light shine. I say let your light shine. You know, it's very interesting. Christmas period, the whole of the city now has light, light, light everywhere. You wish it was like that all the time. But one thing is clear. Let your own remain. Let your light keep shining. We have a, a house not too far from our home. It's like a mecca of light. Every year they upgrade their light. This year they went extra, extra banana. So people go there, they take photographs, they do But they miss it. They miss it. It's not about the guy with the big tummy standing there screaming, ho, ho, ho. It's about Jesus. Amen. I said, Amen. We'll close this service now, but just let's remind you that we're in a season of fasting and praying. We're not asking you to fast on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Uh, but remember, if what you heard today is going to come to pass in your life, you have your part to play. Jesus said, this kind does not go out without fasting and praying. And some of us have operated on the same level for, the, for many years. It's time to break to another level. Another level. So join us. I mean, we'll be in morning glow tomorrow. Uh, festivity does not cancel morning glow. You must pray. God must hear your voice every day. Now, some of you are clapping. By the number I see in morning glow, the number of people overseas seem to be more than KICC. And I'm just wondering, are you taking for granted as the Majesty's prayer has covered me? Ah, every man to himself. All of us for God. <laughs> join morning glow. It's a powerful sea. I mean, people join, people as far as Martinique in the Caribbean, Curaçao, uh, even islands of the sea, we've seen people join from Vanuatu. And you wonder, where's that? Yeah, somewhere there. Somewhere there. Near Australia. No, places you can't imagine. Suriname. Those are Netherlands and Tills. And you live in Hackney. And you haven't joined. 
you live in Rochester and you haven't joined. So make sure you connect with Morning Glow. Somebody say amen. A couple of, couple of a little more announcements and we'll bring the service to a close. We promised you we're closing early, so we will close early. Um, remember, on the 31st, which is the watch night, we're crossing over to a new year. Somebody get excited and praise the Lord for that. Come on. <clears throat> Live and direct, we're going to be having mercy Chingo with us on that day. It's going to be very, very exciting. It's going to be powerful. KCC Choir will be here. G Tribe will be here. And we're starting 9.30. In 12, 15, 12, 20, we're done. 12, 15, 12, 20, we're done. 2023 is the year of evident progress. Your progress will be evident for everyone to see. Praise the Lord. Uh, and then on, the, on, on Sunday... The 1st of January, which is next Sunday. It's a unique one when January 1 falls on a Sunday. Please, I know you want to party, but come. There's no, there ain't no party like the Holy Ghost party because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. All right, so you got to come for this Holy Ghost party. You know what I'm saying? Praise God. It's a party of celebration, consecration, and communion. And you can't have a better celebration than this lineup karen hawthorne will be a blessing praise the lord joe praise i got his music wrong the other day i'm sure uh, you people who know his music know his music uh, you see, he'll be here praise the lord uh laulu benjo will be here actually laulu is now a global phenomenon but it's a product of krcc nigeria come on praise the lord for that <laughs> joyce omondi when we went to uh, minister in KRCC in Nairobi, Kenya. I met with her husband. Then he sent me her music. I just felt a connection and invited her. She's coming all the way from Nairobi, Kenya to minister. Praise the Lord. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So don't miss. That day we start 12 noon and we close 4 p.m. And I want to believe God for strength to anoint everyone one by one. Give God praise for that. So this Christmas service is the first time we have released some of our branches to have their own Christmas service. So that's why the full house. Southwest is having their own service. I think Romford is probably having their own service. And uh, Grace is having their own service. So let's celebrate them as they get blessed where they are. <laughs> Praise God. Gradually we're letting all those babies have their own service and uh, have their own. So we pray for others who don't have their own building. It shall come to pass. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. I'd like to quickly welcome those who are worshiping with us for the first time. Today is your first Sunday morning in KICC. I'm first Christmas, first Sunday morning. May I ask you to stand on your feet so we can celebrate and appreciate you. First time. Hey. Pray. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. May I ask all of you, my beautiful friends, ladies, gentlemen, to come to the front here. I'd like to welcome you personally. Please celebrate them as they come to the front. Somebody say welcome. We would like to celebrate all these our beautiful friends who are joining us for this Christmas service and the first Sunday. We do hope you, you were blessed this morning. We do hope you enjoyed the service today. And uh, we're hoping and praying that we'll see more of your face on a regular basis in the name of Jesus. If you've traveled from abroad to be in London or to be in the UK and you're going to be traveling back, still give us your name and address. We'd like to keep contact with you and we pray safe journey on you. If you live in the United Kingdom, at least within the M25, I don't care even if it is riding, come here on Sunday morning. I'm telling you, you will be blessed. We are excited to be in Prayer City. This is Prayer City. 
and uh, it's our home it's our church we don't owe anyone debt free praise god somebody praise the lord for them. And when you come you sit down you worship when the service is over you can chill we have a restaurant and then after service uh you can wait for another service which is in the evening however we celebrate everyone who's with us today some of you live locally probably just moved into the kent area and you say let me go check here i see out and i do hope you were blessed this morning i'm going to take you out for a few minutes just about seven minutes max eight nine i want to take your name and address and after we take your name and address the message you heard me preach today these people will buy their own copies we'll give you free we'll give you a copy free we'll give you some literature <clears throat> from our church free so that you know more about krcc one more time i'd like you to know we celebrate you we appreciate you we thank god for you we pray blessings on your life and we pray that you'll you'll continue to enjoy the grace of god and every prayer said here today we pray that it will stay in your life. I can I hand you over to the lady who will take you out for just about seven to nine minutes? They'll serve you tea, coffee, biscuits, and uh, any more refreshment we have. Please follow her. Give them a good God bless you. Praise the Lord. Just one or two announcements just to let you know that uh, uh, we want to say a big, big thank you. Appreciate a, a big appreciation to all of you who participated in making the 1,000 hampers possible. God bless you richly. Sometimes we don't wait for you to write your check. We just dip the hand into whatever the church has make it happen because we can't wait for all the checks to come in before you order the 1,000 turkeys uh, you have to make your book I don't even know how long it takes them to book this thing I just know it happens I just know I say yes go ahead and then it happens is James here he's the master at knowing those things he's not here all right uh, sometimes it takes how long does it take to book these turkeys how long did it take to book the turkeys August for Turkey. Jesus, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Did we have to pay since August? Okay, we just booked. All right. So we had to book for a thousand turkeys uh, since August in order to make it happen. So we celebrate you one more time. <clears throat> and for those of you who are still thinking of doing it, we are still expecting you. Praise God. As I was flying out of Africa to come into England, my, my ticket agent gave me $100 and said, please give KICC to use to cover the number of turkeys it can cover. And I think $100 will probably cover two and a half turkeys. So two turkeys and half a turkey jump. <laughs> Praise God to bless the Lord for you. So remember again, we're going to have a great time. When we come, to, we, we are, we are in uh, prayer, we are in Hall Street from Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you've missed the first six days of Divine Encounter, boy, did we have a time of encounter with the Lord. It was really, 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 really strong and powerful. The last four, it's going into a serious crescendo, like they say music. It's going to go into is it crescendo? Yeah, crescendo is going up to a higher level. So, uh, it was small, but small, but small. It's poco a poco, but crescendo. Okay, so it's going to be going to a crescendo at the last four days. So, make sure you join us from Tuesday. Amen? I said, Amen. amen. I guess that's all. No other. The Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine on you, give you peace. 
bless your going out bless your coming in strengthen you at all times may he keep you in this season this December will be a December to remember not for tragedy not for trouble but for triumph and testimony so shall it be in Jesus name one or two more announcements before we sing our Christmas wishes and then leave please drive safe drive carefully always remember the season in which you are and always just be tolerant of people who drive on the road some of them they've had extra you know what i mean an extra so don't let anybody bring their own anointing annoying thing to your anointing be careful and as we drive out of this place whenever we have a joint service there are many cars be patient and with time you'll be able to go god bless you we wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you.